life, they say everything happens for a reason. And I just thought to share this story with you so you all can actually look at my journey and what has brought me this far. So I think it's exactly, what, two years or or more this happened. So I'd done my first film at one the AMVCAs. Then after that, I said, okay, you know what? If I did this, I did that, I think it's time I even stand on my own. The scriptwriter I was working with, amazing guy, Mr. Tumi Akwalowo, you know, we had sat down to think about this story, this, you know, how it would be. I was like, I'm oh, starting I have this idea. And I think it would also be a way to sell myself, you know, as well as an actor. And I just feel it's a deep story. I just had this vision about this movie in my head, you know. At the end of the day, we came up with this beautiful, amazing story. Like, it was so beautiful. And you know how you just, you've done something before and you just want your next to be so good, like, so, so good. I invested so much, my money, my savings, everything. Long story short, production, you know, came. We had our own hiccups, which is normal. Every production goes through all that. We finished production and now it was time to edit. So there's this guy I've been working with in terms of edit, you know, young guy, very good, you know. It's like, you know what, you know, let's help me edit this film, right? So he edited it, he gave me the first cut. And I mean, it was good because I had a vision for it and I was not ready to compromise or just wait or just say, okay, you know, let me give you a second try. I'm just like, see, you know what? Let me just give this to another editor so we can just see that. Let's, let's, let's not even compromise even between me and you and, you know, everything. He was like, yeah, I understood. Okay, but bear in mind, we shot well. We shot in Banana Island. We used cars. You know, we had invested so much time and money in the production. My mom would send, like, Mopos to come and be on set. You know, so we could use guns. You know, what not, right? I have this A-list person. I mean, he's been my friend for a couple of years, and I really look up to him. I feel like he's one of the people in the industry that's doing so well. And he has been doing so well for years now, and he's still there. He's still one of the leading people. His movies always do well. So, you know, I just respect their people. Like, they're your friends regardless, but you genuinely respect their opinions and respect their job. So I reached out to this person and he says, oh, you can use my editor or whatever. So I reached out to the editor. The editor told me he was going to take one month, you know, gave me his terms and conditions, his fee. Everything was sorted, you know. Couldn't even afford him at that time. I just had to manage and it was sorted. And um, this ADC even helped me and everything. So it was sorted. And then after one month, and I said I wasn't even going to disturb him whatsoever. I was going to be one month plus. After that, he even asked me that, oh, there's the hard you need to get something on um, a hard drive that some things he couldn't get. I had sent my hard drive that was with me with my PA, go give it to him, you know, at his place, whatever. So after a month and a couple of weeks, I'm just thinking, like, you know, let me call this guy. I know what's up with this movie now. Call him. And he goes like, oh, he, you know, he kept saying he'll get back to me, like he's on his, he's on it, you know. But, you know, my mind didn't go to anything negative. I just felt like, ah, he's trying to kill it so that when he shows it to me, it's going to be like boom, 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 you know. I was just home one day, you know, I was going out, I think I was going to the office, and I get this call from this alias person. I'm going to try not to mention names as much as possible because really. And he goes, um, Lillian, you know, that, well, um, I just want to tell you, that, you know, the editor in question said your hard drive is gone. Your movie is gone. Like, don't worry, just calm down. You know, everything happened in a split second. So it was like a roller coaster. So I was, I was crying. I was crying. And I was crying. And this is a person um, goes like, just don't worry, just calm down. I'll help you anywhere I can, you know. Don't worry, you know, just calm down. So I was crying, and it took me like days and weeks to actually come out of it. I just felt too depressed because even in the cost of shooting, like, there was time I didn't have any money again. I had to take a loan, um, you know, quickly, and I had to because I'd never taken a loan before. I had to take a loan that I was going to pay in a month. So I just said, you know what, since my birthday is coming up this period and I have to pay this loan, I'm just going to tell my family, everyone, to just send me money. Don't even bother buying me presents and everything. That was the time when, when I shot, was the time when a photographer messed my birthday photo shoot up. It was, it was, it was really bad. 
and because that was all I wasn't going to celebrate my birthday at you know taking my money to pay back the loan I took to shoot this film that is missing now so it was just it's been a journey and so now this person said I'll assist you whatever whatever now the movie is gone so after a couple of like I was crying I was like okay what's the way forward so now that for me I wanted my money back you know I wasn't sure but you know they said these alias people and everything they said it's not possible for this guy to pay you he doesn't have it but what he can do is like he wants to reshoot so you just have to give him a couple of months to get himself together and you guys will try and reshoot I said okay no problem but in my mind I'm thinking you know if this person is going to be involved it's going to be very dope even even maybe better than what I had before just trying to console myself um, I mean in this process I've lost money and I've, I've invested in a new business thinking I had the source coming to forward the business in the long run you know crazy got a store everything was crazy after a couple of months I called this guy he's like he doesn't have money yet but you know he gives me another date so we have a meeting on the date so first of all this guy is not he's not being able to get my actors most of my actors they put in so much work into this film Osas, or a lot of them Hush Baby Annie calling these people to do it again as an actor when you finish a production and mentally you know physically you're done with that production especially when it was a production that you know was stressful they, you know getting into character wasn't so easy and everything and then they're calling you back maybe like a year later or something to come and do it and you have other things you're doing and maybe you don't even have other things you're doing it's always never easy for the actor now in this case I think most of the actors were busy at the time Annie just lost her dad like imagine Annie, Annie just lost her dad today and I think in a couple of days we were begging her that we needed her to film in fact when this happened I told my editor that I cannot call Annie to ask Annie to film with this your date. Her dad just died. Like I can't even get myself to do that. That's crazy. That's be- that's me being wicked. There's no other explanation for it. And anyways, long story short, this alias got involved. Everybody like you know we talked to Annie, talked to Annie. We spoke to Annie, and as called to have it, Annie was like, yes. Lillian, anything for you, I'll do it. And bear in mind, I've known Annie for a very long time, so many years. In fact, the very first movie I acted years back when I was in uni was with them, Annie, and I was a maid in the kingdom. I can never forget this, the cross production or something. I've known her for a while and she's always been an amazing person. And now she goes, I'll do it, you know, whatever. But bear in mind, we can't even get most of the actors. So first of all, the character, this, sometimes when you write scripts, you write scripts with certain characters in mind, like certain people, like genuinely. So it's crazy that it happens. And it was just like, ah, oh, a lot of them weren't available. You know, it's either someone was on a series already. Like, it's, it was, it was getting scary. But then imagine people just, like, I'm helpless. I don't have funds. I can't just up and say, I want to do this, do that. So I'm just, I'm just there. Like, I'm just there trying to get what I can get out of or this or salvage it and I don't want to now have the what if what if I I did it what if I did it right so I want to be I want to be sure that I know what I'm doing and I'm getting something out of it I don't know I'm tearing up but oh wow oh shit okay anytime I talk about this I tear up it's just so it's just such an um, an emotional topic I guess so and then anyway long story short the editor now says he's going to direct and i'm like well how can you direct like how can you direct he's like oh he's a director as well i'm like i know but still with all this pressure and anyway long story short the alias is like oh he can direct well, I'm like, okay fine now most of the actors we imagine how using this person and now using the it was just it wasn't easy. And anyway, finally, the reshoot, it was a date we were meant to start. And um, it was a date we were meant to start, you know, it just, locations, you know, I had to get involved at some point. It was just crazy. It was crazy. Like, little things were in there. It wasn't just working. And then it was just me getting upset, relieving the moment, dealing with this pressure. And you know how the people that would say they will be there for you are not there for you. They will help you when when the stakes are there, when it's really bad, when the going gets 
tough you don't see these people you know and some other people don't know your pain they just judge you know it got messy it got messy it got really messy police got involved it got really messy anyways um there was no funds production had to be called off we came back again and tried to round up long story short after everything back and forth finally we get we get the edits it was just bad. It was just tack. It was just wrong. It wasn't even working. Even the acting, even the location, everything was wrong. And I just said, you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna say, it was county has a loss. God has a reason. Maybe this film was just meant to be whatever. You know, things happen. And sometimes when you've gone through the hard times, the movie cost me my relationship a lot because you know I was dealing with so much. I was I was un- unhappy. No one wants to be with someone who is sad, who, you know, and sometimes when you're going through these split parts, you don't even know how to explain it to someone who is not maybe in an industry or something. It's really so hard. So you're just all in your feelings, bottled up in this pain. You know, it was crazy. And it was just more of like my money. I should have used this money to go to school. I wanted to further my education. Why did I invest this? Why did I, oh God, thank God I didn't take this, my investor's money. It would have been so much pressure. You know, and then finally, I just gave up. And I was just like, moving on. And so one day, because I had stopped my YouTube channel in the process, I would not been shooting. So I was just like, let me go to a hard drive and go through my YouTube channel. Because I had some I hadn't posted and see if I should even post it or not. And behold, I look at my hard drive and I saw double strings first cut. And I'm just like, how? What's happening here? I opened it. It was the first cut my editor, the very first editor um, sent to me. At the time, it was looking so horrible because I'm just like, I can't see my house. I can't see the banana. You didn't cut it well. But guess what? Right now, the first cut looked like gold in my eyes. It looked like, oh my God. First of all, this brings me down to saying quality, never compromise on quality, never compromise on your equipment, never compromise on things that will make your movie or whatever it is you're doing, give it that quality because it's that quality that would always bring you more customers and that will save you. Now, I see this first cut and the first thing that comes to my mind, how can I get a good editor that can cut this first cut and just salvage the little, you know, whatever. Anyway, back and forth, we still kept the editor of no, we couldn't get the good. Finally, I met a group set of people that just took interest in helping me. We went as far as recording voiceovers again. Even if we couldn't get editors, we went as far as recording voice on top upon voices. And long story short, the movie is okay. I mean, I don't know if it's the best. You know, and then COVID happened. I couldn't even do all the plans, the private screen and everything, which it's okay. But finally, I said it to um, Africa Magic. And it's coming on box office September 28th, this month. It's coming on box office, guys. It's actually coming on box office. And um, I've been able to, you know, give it to other platforms as well. And very soon you'll be seeing it everywhere. And all I just want to say is, Everything happens for a reason in life. You don't know where God is taking you to. You don't know where he's trying to put you. So sometimes when you go through challenges, just always try to get out of it and always forge ahead because at the end of the day, you would smile. It hasn't been easy. Will I lose a lot of money? Maybe, yes. Maybe, will I gain the money in the future? Maybe. But I don't know if there's a story behind it. I've learned a lot in the process. I now understand how you can't tell me not to have 10 hard drives. I obviously will have backups upon backups upon backups. And, you know, in general, I'm just so happy. And all I just want from you all is, in a nutshell, is kindly tune into your TV on the 28th of this month and watch Double Strings starring Annie Dibia, myself, Osasi Godaru, Greg, Eddie Waxin, Oshbebe, and a host of amazing others. Support me, criticize me. Um, I mean, I can only do better. And yeah, I love you all and I hope my story somehow inspired you some way.